Hi ladies, Amanda from the Queen of Lean and today I wanted to do a technique video to take you through a series of stretches that helps when you have upper cross syndrome. So upper cross syndrome is when your shoulders are really tight. Typically this will happen from a lot of desk work. Um, so you'll notice shoulders are rolled forward, your lats will be tight, neck will be tight and we just wanted to give you some solutions um, for stretching that out. So I've got my coach Siggy here with us today. Hi, Hi. Siggy. Hi. <laughs> so we're going to take you through three different mobilizations and these would be great to include at the start of your training session. So the first mobilization is down on the floor here and it's called a scorpion stretch. So this is going to be opening up through your chest. This is one of our favorites. So when you set up on the ground you'll have your arms at 90 degrees and then what you're going to do is bring one hand in close underneath your shoulder poke your elbow up high and then what you're going to do is rotate turn your head up towards the ceiling and what you should feel is a really good stretch on this side through your chest then we're going to switch over to the other side so you come down to 90 90 position that hand in elbow pokes up good and good rotation. So this is great to do a series of 10, even 20 of these stretches. So I'll get Siggy to show you. So you're really opening up through that hip as well. So when you do hook over, make sure that you lift your leg up and get distance over because that's going to help you increase the stretch as well. So then the next one we have, we're going to transition onto the step over here, which is an upper trap stretch. So this is something you could actually do at your desk. So what we're going to do is a PNF um, style of stretching. So Siggy's going to drive down through her left hand and she's really driving down through her fingertips to anchor her shoulder down. Then what we're going to do is she's going to do a nice double chin action which is always really attractive and then using the opposite hand just take that over into a stretch and what she should feel is a stretch through her neck. I thought you had, you'd gone into a stretch. I was like whoa that's tight. Um, so then from there what she's going to do is shrug her left shoulder her up, breathe in, hold her breath and then exhale and relax down. So you can do this release three times and what you'll find is you get a lot more range of movement through that upper trap. So you should be feeling that stretch right along the top here. So doing three releases, exhale, good, and take it into the stretch. In between doing your releases, you could hold it for 10 to 15 seconds just to increase that stretch. Obviously doing it on both sides. And then last but not least, we're gonna stretch out through your lats because all of these muscles are involved in, um, in pulling your shoulders forward. So with lats, even though it's something that runs down the side of your body, the lat actually inserts underneath your armpit. So that's what can pull your shoulder forward. So we like to use bands for this. And there's plenty of different ways. You can use a foam roller to stretch your lats, but this is a great one. So hooking a band up high, and Siggy's just going to take that into a stretch and then what you can do is move your body around and just feel where you get the most mobilization. So you can open up through your rib cage, move your hips, even go up and down and just really increase that stretch right along the side of your body. So typically you want to um, hold that stretch for around um, at least 20 to 30 seconds, ideally longer than 30 seconds to get the range and then obviously doing both sides. So as I said, this is a great little routine to include at the start of your session, especially if you're gonna do an upper body session. It's really gonna give you the range of movement through your shoulders. And then when you use that range of movement within your session, you're more likely to keep it. So something after this routine, it'd be great to do some strength work through your back. So I hope you found this clip extremely helpful and we'll see you next time.